My experience here at the Wendy Lindo show, it's so much fun. It's like a casual conversation in the couch, feeling at home. And then I feel that, you know, close, parang feeling mo close ka kaagad kay Wendy pag tapos ng conversation with her. So I think I had a wonderful time. It's been two hours after our, our taping and I'm still hanging out with her. That means that I'm enjoying her company so much. Hello everyone and welcome to the Wendy Lindo Show where you will meet people that are inspirational, courageous, and people that change lives. So for today's episode, I am so excited because I have one of my mentor, my coach. She's a woman entrepreneur. At the same time, she specializes in the area of beauty. But guess what? Not only the outer beauty, but also the inner beauty because she wanted to make sure that the inner beauty is the one that shines through. So without further ado, let me introduce the one and only Miss Olivia Quito, known as Miss K O. Hi, how are you, Wendy? Oh my God, <laughs> so, I'm <laughs> so excited. excited. Yes. Oh, nga. I'm so happy, I'm uh, very honored that you invited me to be part of your show. Oh my God, you know, you're the first person that I reach out I and know. I remember you also kind of like gave me some advice uh, when I first started my logo and everything and I thank you truly from the bottom of my heart. Thank oh, you so salamat much. Salamat then Wendy for your trust and only and sorry, hindi tayo natuloy last time oh, but nga. then I know marami excited pero ito tayo ngayon, magkukwentuhan lang tayo. Magkwentuhan tayo Miss O because this is the first time, actually uh, you're my second guest Okay. and uh, what excites me the most is your story. Okay, yes. People know you, know you as a successful woman but not a lot of people knows your story can you tell us about your story how you started let's go back five ten years ago when you first started yeah so um at 2002 wendy i came to united states no so i was broken hearted at that time you know my story but we can also share that story um so what happened was um, I was supposed to get married, di ba? One, se first time, second time, third time, hindi natutuloy. Pero, so sabi ko, gusto ko nang pumunta sa Amerika, gusto ko nang mag-soul search. So, na when I came here, I studied cosmetology. Nag-aral ako ng hair, haircut, nagkukulot ng buhok. But then, you know, every time it um the, the topic talks about skincare, I, I I was very interested and very motivated. Yung ganun, nag-jot down ng mga notes, ganun, di ba? So then, um, uh, fast forward, um, I, I finished I, being an esthetician. I got my license. I passed the board exam. So, dalawang exam yon. And then, finally, I found my passion. So, sabi ko, gusto ko na lang magpaganda ng mga babae at saka kalalaki yan because I suffered acne when I was teenager. No, So, ang daming tigawat, ang daming pimples teenagers sa Philippines, hindi naman nagme-make up, di ba? So ngayon, ang hirap-hirap yun takpan at saka yung confidence, yung confidence level ba? Parang um, naaapektohan. So then, when I became an esthetician, sabi ko, I wanna help and empower a lot of men and women out there and also teenager para matulungan sila sa skin problem nila. So I rented the space inside the salon, di ba? Si Tita Lodi, si Uncle Charlie, those are, they are my second parents. Super bait. Nagrent ako ng space, uh, alam mo yung small room, alam mo yung when you do facial, yung bako nakadikit na sa wall, yes. yung client's feet nakadikit na rin sa wall. So imagine mo na ganun yung small space but then it was, um, I would say, five years na ganun. Nagbibigay ako ng flyers, nagbibigay ako ng, uh, naglalagay ng flyers sa harap ng windshield ng mga, ng mga cars in front of the supermarket. Imagine. Oh wow, I didn't know that Miss uh, oh, oh, that yeah. part. So that broken hearted turned into your pain, turned into power. And then five years, I know you put, ang daming work na ginawa mo dyan eh. Siguro yung mga nanonood, akala nila, it's so easy to be like you. They didn't know ano yung mga pinagdaanan mo eh. Alam uh -oh. ko madami yan eh. Diba? Yes, yes. So like what you said, five years you've been doing that. So there's sacrifice. You have to put a lot of hard work, right? Pero... What motivates you now? What uh, gets you in the morning na parang ang dami pang nating dapat tulungan sa pampapaganda? Hindi lang yun, self-care nila. Uh, yes. And like me, I use your uh, products. Talagang, uh, 
I'm here right now. I'm I know. Host. You look yung so good. Oh, you look so good. Oh. Yung confidence mo, yun yung kailangan, di ba? So, you transform a lot of many, many lives talaga ng mga kababaihan. So, ngayon, Miss O, sino ba yung tao na parang uh, role model mo? Role model ko, good question. Actually, di ba, when you talk about na uh, ano ba yung what motivates me when I wake up in the morning. Actually, I'm excited to wake up every day. Alam mo yung binibigyan tayo ng Lord ng extra day to live. That's already a blessing in itself. So, pagising ko walang masakit sa katawan mo, alam mo yun, na makakarelate tayo lahat dyan, Na, wow, thank you Lord. And everything else is a bonus. No? You get to uh, spend time with your family. That that motivates me. I spend time with my kids. Now, pagdating sa workplace, syempre excited na ako magpaganda ng mga tao. Um, I do virtual consultation because of the what happened during pandemic, di ba? So, madami ang ang mga clients. Miss O, paano papagandahin yung pinsan ko, yung auntie ko, yung ganyan. So, what they do, they send me picture and then they send me their telephone number and then we contact them together with my team. So, uh, nakakatuwa na kahit na mga clients from different parts like sa ano sa California, sa Nevada, sa Texas, ang dami tumatawag from different parts of uh, USA and also sa ibang country din na nagpapagano, nagpapa uh, free virtual consultation and we ship products to them. So now, um, yun ang nakaka-excite kasi when they call you a week later, a, mo- a month later, papakita na nila yung before and after photo. Doon ako na excite Wendy. I saw that because I'm part of your uh, group, yes. which is the uh, VIP uh, O Skin. Yes. And you know, guys, um, if you will go in the page, you will see transformation talaga. And I, I keep on posting, yes. remember that. Yes. And you can see uh, how grateful these women are when they see their change in their face, yung mga brown spots, peeling. And I also did a virtual consultation with yes. you, remember? Uh-oh, I and remember. And it really works po talaga. So, Miss O, um, I also want to talk, kasi yung product mo, I know you have a great skin product, pero hindi lang ngayon dito sa mga Pilipinos eh. You're now global because of that, um, you know, you're the skin partner of the 69 Miss Universe. Yes. So, um, you're also an, a coach. What do you give advice to those candidates when you were in Florida? Oh, that's a very good question, Wendy. Kasi alam nyo, um, sa mga nanonood sa atin ngayon, because uh, a, a lot of mga beauty queens, ba? Parang nagko-compete sila. Ang gaganda na eh, ba? Paano pa ba natin papagandahin ang isang, yung mga magagandang girls? So, you know, I was teaching them uh, paano gumamit ng 24 karat gold, which you're using. When they apply it on their skin, alam nyo ba, pag gising mo sa umaga, sobrang ganda ng face, ba? So, yun yung mga tinuturo ko sa kanila. I I, uh, I, you know, they they gave me one day, beauty day actually, a couple mm-hmm. of hours. Tuturuan ko sila paano magpaganda. No? So, ano yung mga sinasabi kong beauty tips? Magbigay tayo ng top, top three. So, beauty tip number one sa mga viewers ni Wendy Lin, Wendy, dito sa ating Wendy Lindo show. Ang una-unang tip is never sleep with makeup on. Rule number one yan. Because at night, yung pores natin open eh. So, ngayon, bago matulog sa gabi, ayaw mo yung mga makeup, dirt, debris, yung mga dumi, yung mga alikabok na, you know, the pores are open at night. So, the, all the dust and debris, pumapasok yun sa loob ng skin. When you wake up in the morning, nawawala na yung glow or or, or parang makikita mo na pa, um, yung skin, hindi healthy tingnan. So, that's rule number one. Never sleep with makeup on and never sleep without washing your face. So, yan ang... Um, Tip number one natin sa ating mga viewers. So, sa te- tip number two naman natin is make sure to apply SPF lagi. So, SPF, like even though you're inside the house, Wendy, di ba lagi kong kinakwento sa ating mga televiewers, ating mga clients sa VIP and also sa mga clients sa O, na make sure that they apply sunblock even though they're inside the house, diba? So, kasi yung mga lights, ito mga lights natin sa studio, um, they all have UV rays. No, When it hits the skin, parang sun yan eh, nagkakaroon agad ng itim-itim sa mukha. So, pangatlong beauty tip is, pag lagi ka nagkaka-pimple around the mouth area, it's because sometimes you put uh, like petroleum jelly or gumagamit ng lip balm o kaya yung toothpaste natin colored. So yun yung mga bagay na kailangan nating i-eliminate para hindi pa ulit-ulit yung pimple natin around the mouth area. So those are the important tips, Wendy, sa ating mga viewers na nanonood ngayon because 
ayaw mo na pa ulit-ulit yung pimples eh, di ba? Yung ganon. Yes, that's a uh, parang stubborn talaga yes, na buha uh-huh. balik eh. Miss O, um, I love your sunblock ah. and your uh, the, uh, facial uh, cream. Those are the uh, the products that I use. Pero I remember when I first started those products, you told me to have a pill first. Correct, diba? yes. Uh-huh. Bakit uh, kailangan muna na parang facial muna and then kailangan muna i-peel then to start the regimen. The routine, the regimen yes. Then. That's a very good question, Wendy. So, sa mga viewers natin, because marami akong clients na nakikita over 18 years ng experience ko na, baba natin kate. So, 18 years experience ko na pag tinitignan ko yung skin consultation, makikita mo na ang daming dead skin on top. So, when they put makeup, ayan na, nagiging cakey na yung skin, nagiging parang ashy dahil may brown spots sa loob or andami, may mga pimples na cover up. So, hindi nagiging healthy, glowing skin tignan, ba? But then, when we peel off the skin, yung first layer na tinatawag natin epidermis, mm-hmm. pag tinanggal natin yan, Wendy, ang maganda is, lalabas yung healthy skin mo, ba? So, yun yung, pag nabalatan ng face, um, very, very important yung yung healthy skin, very vulnerable yun. So, kunwari, nagpabalat ka, nagpa-araw ka. Nako, dear, after few days, ang itim na agad ng skin, ba? Kasi, hindi pwedeng maarawan yung healthy, eh, ba? But then, but then, when you put like, like, uh, like vitamins, or you, you put like, uh, moisturizer, mabilis siyang lumambot, kasi, vulnerable yung bagong skin, ba? So, that's what I tell my clients. Tanggalin muna natin yung mga dead skin, yung mga libag, yung mga tinatawag na first layer na mga pekas na brown spots. Then, all the products that you apply on your skin will penetrate even better. That's true. Actually, Miss O, she knows all her clients. I remember when I started the peeling, she saw my Facebook story. Uh-uh. I was, uh, I think, uh, hiking. Uh-uh. And she texted me right away, Dear, magsanda ka. Magsanda ka. <laughs> Put a lot of sunblock. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I remember that. Yeah. So she doesn't only sell you product. She makes sure that you use it. Then talaga uh-uh. na, para maging effective, di ba? Uh-uh. At saka, I care kasi. Alam mo you yung care, parang, yes. alam mo yung Wendy, yung kanyari sinasabi ng mga clients natin, Miss, oh, ang dami kong brown spots, <laughs> ang dami kong itim. Yung goal mo na mawala yun, di ba? Goal ng, ano yun eh, goal nila yun eh. Yes. Pero ako, as their skin care specialist, mas goal ko yun for them. Hindi nila alam kung mas sobrang passionate ako. Kung gusto mo matanggal yun, mas gusto gusto ko matanggal yun, di ba? Correct. Yeah. Because uh, like what I said, Miss O, always check your client. Either they're checking you on IG story or Facebook story. Oo, di ba? Chine-check ko. Zino-zoom ko pa. <laughs> Dear, may itim mo. Lagyan mo pa. Huwag ka magpa-araw ngayon. Na. And Hindi then yun. sometimes on your uh, page, di ba? Okay, they put the 24 carat and then uh, they put the the whitening cream and then you always tell them put more uh-uh. <laughs> apply more uh-uh. like it needs to be like thick, uh, thick. Uh-uh. and because sometimes they pose it like so thin so thin and diba? it will not work right uh-uh. Uh-uh. So, but, ano pa yan dear ilan pounds ba nilagay mo sabi nila one pump dear two to three pounds tayo para mas makita mo yung result diba? that's true yeah yeah what I like about you also, Miss O, maybe you don't know uh-huh. that a lot of people loves you. Talaga? Nako, nakaka-bless naman yan. Not only that, because uh, sometimes you think that um, you transform their lives, Mm-mm. diba? Na parang dami mong napasaya, pero ang dami mo ring talagang fans. Ah, nako. Napasaya. Ang dami-daming fans. And I always hear great things about you. Oh, salamat. If you don't know that. Yeah. So, um, I have actually... A surprise for oh, you. Wow, excited ako. Ano ba yung I have surprise? a surprise for oh, you. Sige, okay. Pwede bang magpa-comfy tayo dito of sa sofa course. mo? Kasi nakaka-relax eh. And I hope eh. you like it. Ah, so, sige, excited ako. Let's uh, <laughs> roll the video. Pa? Oh, Hello, everyone. So, my name is Steven. And uh, i known Oli- um, Olivia Miss O since late 2019. I met her at the Miss Universe 2019 pageant in Atlanta and uh, an hour prior to the show I saw her walking around and taking pictures with the fans and yeah she looks um, very nice and kind very beautiful she's like a ray of sunshine just wandering around and then getting to know people and when it's my turn to take a selfie with Miss O and I look at her and say oh I did not know that you're uh 
spa is in Cerritos. I live very close to there. And she's like, oh, really? I said, yes, I do. I live uh, like uh, 15, 20 minutes from there. And yeah, um, I was a, a bit shy uh, after, when we departed. I didn't give that place a try because of, you know, I was busy with school and work. And um, the pandemic went boom. Everything has been closed uh, so, somewhat. And there's other barriers that I faced after this too. So uh, uh, anyways, uh, a year later when uh, the Miss Universe 2020 pageant happened last month in May in Florida, here we are again. We reunited in um, the Seminole Hard Rock and twice. And I, I saw her um, while I was meeting contestants. I said, Olivia, you remember me, Miss? Oh, you remember me? And she has a very bright smile. And she was like, oh, it's nice meeting you again. And I just kind of like in, in talk more with her. I promise I will go to your spa this time. I feel more confident. I need uh, something to be done to my acne on my face. And she said, oh, why not come here? Are, are you a student? Yes, I am a student. Okay, I'll give you a student discount. And that made my are happy and I'm like okay I'm ready to take this step forward and I'm so grateful for everything that she has done to me and yeah no, I really and not that I like only her products alone but I like Olivia in general she's very nice and kind uh, she's very respectful and we uh, as her friends uh, fans uh, strangers we return the kindness back to her so she really deserves it she may not know how much uh, in the whole world loves her she well she should know and um, by now because that is true we all love her and no matter what unconditionally and um, the kindness that she uh, gave to us so yeah and, uh, i i highly respect her for that and, and uh, crossing by uh, Olivia, Miss O, and I was like, whoa, she's one of the greatest people that I have ever met, and I treasure her for for that. And, and yeah, and what else should I say? Uh, Miss O, she seemed to value me as the biggest fan of her med spa, and she uh, knows me as the one of the greatest Miss Universe fans on the planet. So yeah, she favors me in, ton in a tons of ways. So I really appreciate for that, and I can see that uh, our our friendship will last for a lifetime. So yes, I I will forever m uh, meet uh, Olivia at her spa and value her products and so forth. And so yeah, and absolutely, I'm very grateful and uh, appreciating to her in a lot of ways. So. Thanks to God for this wonderful human being uh, and Miss O. So I have a very lo quite long message for you. So just keep being you. Always be the wonderful woman that you are to our community and to the whole world. And I wish there's more people like you. So uh, I, I can give a lot of examples of how kind you are you know, towards me and others. Uh, I could go on uh, for forever and, and talking about good things about you. So exactly, just keep being yourself. I, I love you the way you are and be your beautiful self and always uh, keep uh, spreading kindness and inspiring others. You inspire me for uh, many ways. Um, I love how you mm, treat us like, uh, see us like money more than the money then that we give to you for to support your business. You are very successful in your business, and I am so glad to see you get sponsored twice for Miss Universe. So I cannot wait for that to go on and on years and years, forever, forever. So yeah, and um, you got a lot, a lot of luck and success on your side. So um, don't ever feel pessimist, pessimistic about yourself because you're doing great. And I see that in, in you. So, and always know that me as your, one of your biggest fans and your new friend. So I will forever support you. And that's a big promise. And I know you will promise me back in, for so many things. So yes, love you, Olivia. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm oh. cute. <laughs> that was before uh, he came in to the, the meet spa. and greet with Miss Peru. Really? Yeah, the... That's so nice. <laughs> Nagulat ako. Uh, you met him at the... Where, where he works. Where he works, right? He was wearing the O mask. The O mask. And then you can, you ask him, like, how do you, do you know O? Yes. Yeah. And he's like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I know me so. And she's a, he's a super fan. Uh. And good thing, there, you can see uh, at the background, there's a, a book. It says super fans. <laughs> <laughs> really? But she, uh, I mean, he, I mean, he loves you. Mm. And I got chills when I heard him. That was like take one. Oh, wow. Take one. Like wow. nothing. Like he continuously like praising you because mm. of uh, maybe how you made him feel. Oh, that's amazing. I told you guys. <laughs> it's not the product that he's selling. That's already given that it works. But it's the kindness. Oh, salamat. Ang bait. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat din. Salamat. Nakakatouch yun ha. <laughs> Steven, thank you. I just want to say, you know, that was, um, you know, I'm your words. I'm going to treasure it. And um, you are special to me. So thank you for always supporting me. And thank you for that interview. That was amazing. Steven, hi. I know he's been waiting for this, oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> for this uh, episode. Yeah, I was surprised, Steven. <laughs> but Miss O, that's not the only, uh, I mean, fans that you have. Can you tell them what happened also in Florida? Ah. You mentioned to me that you were walking. Oh, uh because -oh, right? I was, um, you know, yeah. kasi I remember that I was on TFC for 11 years, right? So I have a beauty show called Beauty by O. Um, it was aired every, for 11 years, imagine more, almost every Sunday. So then um, most of the Filipinos uh, in the United States who has TFC can, ano, kumbaga parang makaka-relate sa yung yung kwento ko because they, they see me all the time. So, when I went to Florida because I interviewed so many Miss Universe from different countries, right? So, their fans were they were watching me during the interview on my Facebook and my on Instagram. So, when I went to Florida, imagine na ah, I was uh I was walking with my friends and then uh like somebody called Olivia Quino and then I was like, "Oh, parang usually Miss O yan tawag, 'di ba? Kasi Filipino." Para pagtingin ko, aba, hindi Filipino, di ba? So, he he was a uh, Dominican Republic. Mami ako, te, may lumapit ako, Olivia Quino! Sabi ko, where are you from? I'm from Guatemala. <laughs> uh, oh, ganun. So, later on, uh, as I was walking, mami ako, te, meron ng Thai, mga Thai people na sinasabi, Olivia Quino, can we interview you? So, I was like, how did you know me? Because, Miss O, oh, um, you know, we've been following your social media and you've interviewed our queens and then we, you know, they love how the interview went because I highlighted ko yung magaganda about their queens, right? So, I didn't expect that na, na yung mga fans who are watching will be in Florida. So, and then later on, at the end of my flow, ano, um, at the end of my Miss Universe uh, event, somebody called me, naglalakad kami with all my friends, iba, in the lobby, and then, um, mami ako, tenag, may, ano, somebody came up to me and said, Miss O, stop! And I was like, <laughs> wait, why? Diba? Tapos yung pala, they gave me a sash, they gave, kinurunahan na ako dun sa lobby. So, it was an amazing experience because all the pageant fans are absolutely unbelievable, ayo unbelievable with regards to their, yung love for their queens, diba? Iba pala talaga ang pageant fans. Kasi, the first year, Wendy, I, I didn't experience that because parang first year, hindi ko alam anong mangyayari, di ba? And then second year, I was kind of involved na. So I was, um, you know, I met so many people. I met uh, a lot of national directors, yung mga franchisee ng countries nila. So I think uh, more than me being the skincare partner sa Miss Universe, I think one of the highlights there was meeting so many people na alam mo yung ang gandang, ang gandang, um, Ang ganda na nagkaroon ng network for to to uh, be able to go to other countries then, diba? So now, diba, nagpunta si national yes. director ng Armenia. Yes. Because she wants to carry my products to go to her country sa Armenia. 
So you're in expansion, global expansion oh, now. Praise God. Grabe. Praise God. And really. um, I know I'm so happy for your success, Miss O. Mm-hmm. And uh, you represent a positive ano, representation sa Miss Universe. Eh? Kasi your success is our success. Mm-hmm. We're all behind you like clapping. You know, oh, praise mean? God. Alam mo, anong nakakatao, Wendy? Because they always ask me, what nationality are you, Miss O? Kasi hindi raw mukhang... Pure Filipina, mukha daw half. So I would always say, I'm from the Philippines, but I'm Phil Chai. But they said, oh, you're from the Philippines. So parang tinataas din natin yung bandera yes. doon sa event mismo. Kasi they were asking, Miss O, oh, where are you from? So lagi kong binabanggit na, yun, taga-Philippines ako. Taga Philippines ako. It's our pride, right? Yeah, thank Kaya, you, Lord. Kaya nung, nung nalaman ko yun, talagang I'm so excited. Kasi mm. now... Talagang nakikita ako eh. You also help other candidates to even come here to your spa, do the meet and greet, yes. di ba? Uh-huh. And you always give them the best experience. Yes. Uh-oh. I saw your IG. You ah, take them to, yeah. you know. Kung saan-saan, di ba? Yung mga favorite places spa. ko. Yes. Kasi walang massage sa OE. Eh. It's all about skin. Yes. So I want them to, after mag, kung tapos na nila mag-facial, uh, later on, gusto ko naman sila maka-experience ng ano bang maganda sa LA, di ba? So true. part of that, syempre tayo women. Pamper. Gusto pamper. natin yan eh. Dalawa, it's, kakain tayo ng masarap, tapos ipapamper tayo ng masarap, di ba? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Nakikita ko si So, grabe ang ano niya, uh, pagmamahal dun sa mga kaibigan mo talaga. Oh, oh, I mean, yeah. I'm gonna be part of uh, 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 dun sa ano, yung, Salt Bay. <laughs> Oo, oh, Salt Bay ha. Okay, Tayo, see, kailangan natin kamain I have to go dyan. there with you. Yeah. Alam mo, ano maganda pa, ano, Wendy? Kasi when, uh, you know, I hosted Miss Peru, I hosted uh, Rabi, I hosted um, Sweden. Sweden, di ba? So, When their fans from their country saw that, they would say, wow, alam mo, lalagyan nila ng flag ng Philippines and Peru. Alam mo yun, yung parang, parang best of friends, Philippines and Peru. It's not about me anymore. Yes. It's not about me and Janik anymore. It's about our countries uniting, di ba? Yes. So their, their fans are seeing that. So I'm so happy that ganun nila tinitignan, di ba? That's true. Yeah, It's synergy, like... You represent and now we parang best friend na tayo sa oh, lahat oh. ng ano, oh, mundo. Oh, yeah, diba? ganun di ba? Oh, oh, yeah. So that's a good ano, di ba? Parang positive talaga yun. Yes. Oo. Ano. Oh, oh. So Miss O, oh, we're always talking about great things, your success. Mm-mm. What is success to you? I mean, maybe there are times na, you know, you have like Down. Moments oh, oh. down. Yeah. Where, where do you get? Where do you find strength? Ah, uh, actually, alam mo. Um, usually, uh, I would say, ang ang pakiramdam ko bilang. Oh, pake ulit ng question. Sorry, ulitin natin. We uh, send mo na ako yung minsan, di ba? Even though you're busy. Ah uh-uh. And then uh, you have your uh, beautiful family. Ah uh-uh. Sometimes uh-uh. when you're alone, you're thinking like uh-uh. sometimes. You have this, I don't know if it's hormonal, but you feel down still, you know? Uh-oh. May times na parang, what else should I do? Parang na, you already uh, got your uh, parang goals mo. What's next, di ba? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Very good question. Actually, I I think um, the meaning of success to me, pag nakita ko lahat ng mga kids ko, naging ano, super love si Lord. Yun yung parang... Um, masasabi kong super successful ako kasi gusto ko lumaki yun mga anak ko na marunong eh. Hindi lang sila marunong kasi successful sila but marunong mabait sa tao. Alam mo yon I always instill to my kids na be kind, diba? be respectful. So those are the things na I wish and I'm praying to God na paglaki ng mga anak ko, sobrang mababait na bata sila. Tsaka love si Lord. Kasi pag love si Lord, everything follows eh. ba diba? ayaw, ayaw mo na maggawa nito kasi alam mong mali na to. Kasi, ba diba? So, um, yun yung ano ko. Yun yung heart ko ngayon. So, with regards to yung sinasabi mo, may moment ba? ba diba? oh. May moment ba na nadadown ako, ganyan. Nadadown ako pag may masakit sa katawan ko. O, ako magamasakit yung ulo, nag-vertigo, yun yung mga nadadown ako. Pero with regards to ano nang next na gagawin, lagi akong excited. Mm-hmm. Ay, uh, siguro yung thinking ko na nagawa ko na nito, ano na yung next na gagawin ko na um, lagi ako nagsaset ng goal sa isang taon. Okay, by this year, gusto ko ganito, ganito yung plan ko. But you know, I, sabi nga, the Lord... Uh, you know, the man plans his his uh, way, but the, the the Lord directs his the, the, our path, de ba? So parang ganon. Um, marami akong plano sa lagi ko sinasabi, like, like you know, I was gonna share with everyone then sa viewers natin na alam niyo ba isang beses na, na nasa Korea ko noon with my family, my mom, my sister, ganon. Binuksan ko yung curtain, sabi ko Lord. 
Um, alam mo yon nasa Amerika ako for how many years. I wanna be global. I want to be able to reach uh, the world. Pero I don't know, Lord, paano ko ba ito gagawin? Alam mo yun kasi, pa, alam mo yung sinasabi ng Lord na we have not because we ask not. Diba? So ngayon, parang gusto ko sabihin sa viewers and mga fans ni, ni Wendy at saka mga viewers mo, Wendy, na we always have to ask the Lord because minsan kasi parang ayaw natin i-detail yung gusto natin pero nasa mind mo, gusto ko nito, gusto ko nito pero hindi natin siya sinasabi, ba? Diba? So I wanna encourage na Sabihin natin yung di Although alam na ni Lord yun eh, pero i-buy rin yung pag sinabi mo in detail. Lord, gusto ko maging global. Pero hindi ko alam pa paano. Kasi hindi ko talaga alam pa paano eh, di ba? Paano ba ba matatap yung international market, right? So, when, you know, that was October ng 2019, no? So, I opened the the, the curtain. I said, Lord, I wanna be global, but I don't know how. But you know how. You're my daddy. You're my father, you know? You, you know me better. So, two months later, tumawag yung Miss Universe mm-hmm. na... Miss O, you will be our, you know, I, we want you to be our, our partner for the skincare. And I was like, Lord, ito ba to? Alam mo yun? Wow. Oo. So, alam mo yung gusto ko lang i-part, i, 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 uh, yung parang i-share yes. to all our viewers na we have to ask. Ask the Lord what your desires. Your di, gusto mo, ano ka, single. Gusto mo maging, gusto maging, uh, gusto mo magkaroon ng kasama sa buhay. Ask the Lord yung Yung, yung detailed na gusto mo. Lord, gusto ko godly. Pwede rin gwapo. <laughs> alam mo yun, pwede rin mabait. Gusto ko provider. Yung yes. gano. So, I think it's very important na I want to share to everyone to, to ano, uh, learn how to ask. Diba? Kasi misa, nakakahiya eh. Ayoko, ayoko. Pero si Lord hindi ganun eh. Even the smallest details sa buhay natin, He's very interested. That's true. Diba? Very, ano siya, parang, uh, you're right. Kasi mm-hmm. when, uh, do I have to say it? Sige, like, kwento mo. Kwento, kwento mo, mo yan. <laughs> kwento mo yan. Ilabas natin yan. <laughs> Dito? Na, na, nakikita ko yung mata mo. Merong hugot, konti. <laughs> hindi naman hugot. Hindi, sorry, sorry. Hindi hugot. Merong hindi gusto i-share. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to share. Uh, you really have to put God first. Yeah. Kasi sometimes even you're successful and you feel empty. Ah ah. Pata ko may yak. Yun nga dito. nakita Dapat ko sa mata eh. mo eh. Nakita ko yun na. Yun actually gusto ko sabihin may nakita ko sa mata mo na gusto mo i-share. Ah ah, di ba? You feel empty. So yeah. um, I believe that mm. you have to believe uh close and ask God. Yeah. First because he knows the way. Mm-hmm. Right? Yak na rin ako. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, yeah. Pero naintindihan ko, naintindihan ko. Matagal na tayong magkakilala. So, okay. you know, my my wish for you is for God to give you the desires of your heart. Thank Lahat you. ng desire okay. mo. Alam Thank na ni Lord yan. So, you know, I'm very happy that you're doing this. This is a good platform for you, di ba? Na i-share din yung talent mo. I-share mo, turuan mo din kami na papano namin pagangangalagaan pagdating sa finances namin. Papano namin. Kasi doon ka magaling eh, di ba? Thank so, you. Yeah. Thank so, I think na itong platform mo, you're interviewing business people. Your viewers are you know, um, natututo ang mga viewers yes. sa lahat ng mga ini-interview mo. So, I think, uh, you know, we learn from each other. I learn from you, you learn from me. So, I think this is a great Thank way you. na ginagawa mo. <laughs> we give value to a lot of people. Yeah. Yes. And uh, you also mentioned that you also have your favorite uh, burst. I was reading that last night. Yes. And uh-oh. I also check it on YouTube. Uh-oh. Dalawa ang favorite verse ko na gusto ko i-share sa inyo ngayon. Sige. That touched my heart last yes. night. Okay, <laughs> yes. Memorize ko to. So, sa Jeremiah 29.11, nakasulat na, uh, For I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Plans of good, not for evil. And um, sabi niya na, I, for, for I have plans for you, plans for good and for e- uh, not for evil. Uh, yun yung pangarap natin eh. I mean, yun yung gusto ni Lord sa atin. May pangarap siya sa'yo. Diba? Na, na para sa'yo, Wendy, para sa inyo, viewers, na huwag malulose hope. Diba? So, ano, yun, naiyak na naman ako sa'yo. <laughs> Wait, nakikita ko yung mata mo. So, I have, pla- I have plans for you. Yun yung word na sobrang ganda. Sobrang gandang pakinggan. Kasi, minsan at the end of the day na, na nawawalan ka ng loob. Diba? Pero pag nakita mo, Lord, may plan ka pala pa sa akin. Not for, it's always for the good. Diba? It's always for the good. So, sobrang ganda nun. Um, sa mga viewers din natin na nanonood ngayon, know that you know, the emptiness na nararamdaman sa puso, hindi lang yun na, na feel in ng pera eh. Hindi lang yun na feel in ng success. But then, ang Lord lang kaya maka-feel in ng whole na yun, ba? So, 
yun yung ano ko, yun yung gusto kong i-share sa lahat kasi the Lord is giving me a platform, I think, to be an influencer. Not only for for to have good skin, but you know, to accept Jesus in their heart, ba? So, yun yung, yun yung sabi ko nga, I'm, I'm an esthetician in disguise. Kasi una kong gusto is to bring people to the Lord. Pangalawa na yung skin. turuan ko sila sa skin, ba? So, another thing, eto sobrang powerful to na gusto ko i-share din sa lahat. Yung tithing, okay? Yun yung Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. Ang galing talaga ni Francis. Meron pa tissue. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Ayan. Kasi when I talk about the Lord, hindi ko talaga yan mapipigilan talagang ano, ibang klase. So ngayon, yun about tithing, Wendy, di ba? So I've been teaching, I've been telling all my friends na tinatanong miss, oh, ano ba yung secret to success? Diba? Ano ba yung, ang sinasabi ko lagi, eto dear, pag ginawa mo to, this is one of my secrets. No? So, maraming secrets, pero this is one of the powerful one. Um, nakasulat sa Malachi chapter 3 verse 10, nakasulat doon na um, bring the tithes to the storehouse. So, ibig sabihin yun, bring the 10% to the church. So, where you're yes. going, like where you're getting um, your word every every week, ba? On a Sunday. Uh, so, doon, bring the tithes to the storehouse. Test me on this, says the Lord. And I will open windows of heaven, pour out so many blessings, there's not enough room to receive it. Wendy, ang ganda nito. Sobrang ganda nito. Kasi usually tayo, gusto lang natin yung I will open the windows of heaven, pour out so many mm-hmm. blessings. Pero yung, teka, may gagawin pa pala tayo eh. Yes. Teka, meron doon na uh, bring the tithes to the storehouse. And, this is the promise, di ba? Pero mm-hmm. tayo, kasi gusto lang natin yung promise, pero yes. ayaw natin gawin yun sa taas. Yes. Di ba? Mm-hmm. So, marami ang nagsasabi, Miss, oh, 10% ba talaga? Baka 2% pwede na. Eh, paano na yung panggas ko kulang? Or teka, sandali, pambili na to ng bigas. Di ba? So, I hear a lot of that. So, um, mm-hmm nakasulat doon, test me on, on this, eh, says the Lord. That's the only verse sa Bible na sinabi ng Lord na test me on this. So that means, <clears throat> that means, subukan daw natin, di ba? So, ako naman, ginawa ko, I was making $500 a week, no? When I was starting. Mm-hmm. So, yan ang normal na what we make every day. We make $100 every day pagdating natin, di ba? So, ang, ang tights noon is how much? 10% is a... Uh, uh, Fifty dollars, yeah, right? Fifty dollars. Yes. Uh, fifty dollars. Alam niyo ba? Susulat ko na sa check sa church. Fifty dollars. Buburahin ko pa yon. Minsan gagawin ko pang thirty. Minsan gagawin ko pang forty. Totoo ba talaga to? Yung ganon. So ang ginawa ko is one year ng ganon. Sabi ko. Alam mo yung parang, sabi ko, Lord, sabi mo mag open ka ng windows of heaven. Bakit 500 a week pa din yung income ko? Hindi naman nag-open, di ba? Kahit window, hindi rin nag-open, di ba? So sabi ko sa Lord, Lord, sabi mo, ano, mag open ka ng window. Eh pagbukas ko ng Bible, alam mo sabi, the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Nako po, hindi ako to. Malayo ba? <laughs> hindi ako cheerful. Gusto ko lang kasi mag kasi gusto ko, mabigyan niya ako ng blessing, di ba? But then, it didn't come from the heart. Yes. So, I had the change of heart na, sige, gagawin ko na to kasi love kita. Gagawin ko to kasi utos mo to. Parang ganito yan eh, Wendy. May nagbigay sa yan ng 10 slices of pizza. Eh, every week ka binibigyan. Pero ang sabi sa ng pizza man, bigyan mo lang ako ng one slice every week. Diba? Which is 10 slices. Yeah, diba? yeah. Bigyan mo lang ako ng, ano, tapos bibigyan ka tahan ng 10 slices every week. Super dali. Diba? Yes. Kung meron naman supply every week. Diba? But naman yung 1%, kasi hindi naman pera natin yun eh, to begin with. Um, it, the 10% is um, for the Lord. Diba? Sabi nga ni Lord na, ano na, pay for God's bill and I will pay for your bill. So para, merong magtake care sa church. May magtake care sa mga tao na nagsasalita ng word of God. So, you know, it's my passion. Part of my passion is skincare, but my passion is spreading the word. Yes. Naturuan yung mga tao na, teka, nandito yung sikreto. Teka, nandito yung, yung ano, mapapabago yung buhay natin, di ba? I agree on that one. I kind of like uh, adjust and at first, I was like you. I was like, really? 10% ba talaga? Because oh, oh, I would diba? go to church. Yes. And everyone would uh, give you check, di ba? Yeah. I was like, okay, I only have like, I don't have cash. I always love ex- excuse. Uh-uh. I kind of like changed that uh-uh. like uh, for two years. Uh-uh. And I was like, oh my God. 
Iba, e, diba? Whatever you give, oh, it oh. gives tenfold. Ay, ibang klase. Ibang klase. Ibang klase talaga. And it opens different doors. <laughs> Oo, ibang klase talaga. It's ab- absolutely amazing. Kasi I've been a tighter since 2007. So ngayon, 2021 na. So I've been a tighter for 14 years. Imagine. Wow. Napaka-faithful ni Lord. From doors to door yes. to door. Na, mga doors na hindi mo na akalain magbubukas, nagbubukas pa din eh. That's why, mm, diba? guys, Ibang klase. I hope uh, you're getting a lot of uh, value on uh, Miss O because that's very powerful. Uh-oh. Like uh, what you told me last night. Oh my God. Ano sinabi ko kagabi? <laughs> Jeremiah. I even I have that. Jeremiah 29. Ah, sige, basahin mo. Basahin mo. Basahin natin yan. <laughs> okay, let Sabay tayo. Oh, sige, sige. So, Jeremiah 29, yeah. 11, For I know the plans I have for you. Says the Lord. Says the, declare the Lord. Declare yeah, the that's Lord. What I yes. Plans to prosper you and not, not harm you. Uh-uh. Plans to give you hope and your future. future. I love so it. So, I love it. I love it. Thank you, Miss O. Salamat din. <laughs> I hope marami natutunan ng ating mga viewers today. Hindi lang sa skin, but you know, sa buhay. Yes. Diba? Super important. That's very important. That, yes. So, Miss O, now, my question is, Where do you see yourself in the next five, ten years? You're already accomplished, successful, and uh, what other things you wanted to achieve in the next five, ten years? Five to ten years, I'm praying that uh, you know, healthy. Alam mo yun, healthy. Because yes. alam mo yun, one thing na naturo ng pandemic sa atin, health is wealth, yes. ba? Diba? Para kaanhin natin ng malaking bahay or anhin natin yung yung magandang business kung hindi tay healthy, de ba? So I think that's uh, one of my dream I, i mean like my prayers every day keep me healthy keep my friends pre, per, parents healthy tsaka mga anak ko yes. asawa ko diba so yun i five to ten years from now praying that healthy tayong lahat pangalawa I, i you know my goal may pangarap yung pangarap no na gusto ko malagay yung products ko sa department stores wow yan yan, yan yung pangarap ko i'm yan na naman lord hindi ko na naman <laughs> alam pa paano ko gagawin pero alam ni lord so You know, I I put my full trust in him. So, by the way, meron pala akong home collection. Alam mo bang may home collection? I was about collection? to ask you that. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please share yeah. that. So, home meron akong home collection called Olivia Kid mm-hmm. Home. Okay. So, it's now in Neiman Marcos. Nandoon na rin yan sa Bergdorf Goodman Department Stores. Um Uh, tapos nandun na rin kami sa Amazon, nandun rin kami sa uh, iba-ibang platform, sa house.com. Alam mo yung house.com, H-O-U-Z-Z, is, is a very big platform sa pagdating sa bedding, sa, sa Martha Stewart da, shop na rin kami. So, um, the Lord is opening doors for us sa iba-ibang field. So, I'm very grateful for that. That's good. And mm-hmm. I think I should uh, buy the, I, I don't the have one yet. I have your yeah. product, skin line, but not that one. Yeah. Home. Alam mo bakit ako nagkaroon ng skin care line? I want to know. Oh, sige, kasi ay ng home care line. Kasi lagi sinasabi ng clients, Miss O, yung mga gamit mo nasa restroom namin, nasa bathroom, di ba? Kasi doon naguhugas ng mukha, di ba? <laughs> yes, yes. Sandali, sandali. Gusto ko, nak- maki- gusto ko hindi lang nila ako sa restroom ma- 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 maalala. Gusto ko maalala din nila ako sa bedroom nila, pag nasa couch nila, kasi may mga ano eh, may mga pillows eh, di ba? So, okay. So, para meron din silang, ano, meron din silang malambot na home collection, di ba? And you have the silk one, right? Meron silk. The silk, yeah, silk mask. The silk Alam mo ba, bakit importante ang silk mask? Kasi, Silk pillowcases are very, um, yung parang friendliest fabric sa mukha yan eh. Oh. So pagka, alam mo yun, yung pag, pag, pag natutulog ka, hindi ka masyado madaling magka-wrinkles. Hindi nawawala yung moisture mo sa mukha. So yun yung, kaya ako nagawa ng silk mask para hindi nagtitigawat pa ulit-ulit. Kasi pag uh, surgical mask, yung five, five, ano to yung fibers nun, nagkukos ng clog pores. I see. Mm. So that's the reason why you don't want to be uh, remembered not only in oh, the bathroom. Oh, 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 yun, also, yun. Oh, diba? Sige ko, teka. May opportunity sa restaurant. Ay, sa bedroom. <laughs> diba? May opportunity sa bedroom. May opportunity sa sala. So, That's yun, true. Diba? And then, uh, I was talking to our CEO of Cobble Media. Ah, okay. And you just uh, mentioned that Your next goal is sa sup ano na para nga sa story na kagaya ng Sephora department, yeah, department store ganyan because he was uh, we were talking like let's ask Miss O are you going to be the Kylie Jenner <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> ng mga diba? Filipino community Kylie Jenner oh, God willing really. yeah if you have a great product why yeah. not and you uh, now have a global impact why not 
Thank you, Lord. Become like, diba? Yeah, oh, like pangarap, no? Nangangarap. <laughs> we'll so, pray and yes, ask uh-oh. and then yes. we shall receive. Diba? Yes. Ang saya ng ating interview, <laughs> Wendy. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much, Miss O. Thank mm-hmm. you talaga. Sobra. Uh-oh, Napasaya yeah. natin ang uh, ating viewers. So, for everyone, magkita-kita ulit tayo sa next episode ng Wendy Lindo Show.